Hey guys, what up? Alright, in this video, we're looking at how to open a file in Python 3.5. And just so you know how the project is laid out here, I have this um, solution file which my editor uses, and that's that cool looking um, you know, dark editor that I'm using to run the Python scripts and everything. And um, the, so the, the entire tutorial and all the files are sitting in this directory here. So it's just in my projects, and I have a Python 35 tutorial. Um, folder. So what I want to do in my Python file is we're going to figure out how to open it up. So we're going to actually um, write some code here. We're going to create an actual file object. So a file object is important in Python because just like a string or an integer or a dictionary, um, there is a file object in Python. So in order to create one, we need to identify first, okay, what file am I dealing with? So typically you could say f or for f for file or just say file or file name. Um, we'll just say file equals and then here's the important part you want to say open because what we're doing is um, we need to give it a uh, location inside of two you know double quotes of where to open up um, the file so and keep in mind um, it is case sensitive on Linux I'm not sure about a Mac but um, Windows is not case sensitive so this doesn't match case but it doesn't matter for Windows and um, I didn't need to do the C colon all that bullshit. I can just do forward slash. So just uh, keep that in mind as well. So I'm looking at this uh, this folder here, and um, the folder exists, so it's not going to throw any sort of errors or anything like that. And um, what I want to do after the forward slash of the folder, I'm going to say mofo.txt, and let's go ahead and just uh, show you an error. Let me see if I should show you an error first. Let me think. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, so the second argument in a file is whether or not you want to actually create one if it's not there, which means um, you pass in a single string, um, which is a W, a lowercase W for write. And I know that's weird, but you'll get used to it. That means write. All right, so yeah, just the W for write, and let's go ahead and actually say um, file, and we can use a method that's attached to this file object, and we'll get into object-oriented programming in a little bit, but we're referencing a method on top of the um, file object, which is the built-in Python object, and then here's where we're going to say this is some friggin' text. And if everything goes well, when we run the program, this thing's actually going to go ahead and locate this directory. It's going to create this file since we've said, hey, this is the file name and then it's going to say the W means go ahead and create it if it's not there and if it is there it says okay I'm going to um, overwrite this some bitch and replace this anyway so that could end up biting you you want to be careful about that I'll show you that so this quickly ran if we go over to our folder um, we can see the mofo file is there and then there's no text now the reason why that did not show up is because of string buffering and what and everybody's system might be a little bit different on that. Like if you actually um, exit that program, and there, there's a good chance if you're running it from something other than Visual Studio or Microsoft that you may have actually had the text in the file. But if you don't have the text in the file, it's always a good idea to actually close off that string buffer and just say file.close. So you always want to close the file. Python usually um, closes automatically, but it's still good to explicitly close it. In this case, with um, Visual Studio running it, uh, it makes sure that, that that buffer is closed and it actually writes to the file. So if we run this thing again, and uh, we pull up the file, you can see that uh, this is friggin' text. And uh, let's go ahead and add some more to this file. I'm going to press Control save to actually save it, because now what we want to do is instead of writing it, what we want to do is say uh, file.read. And we're going to do this in a print statement. So anytime you do a print statement, you need to actually have um, you know anything in the print and in parentheses. And then we're going to do file dot read and open and close parentheses. It's actually going to take this entire file, read it into memory, and then display it um, on the screen. Another thing too is we want to actually take out the W since we're not going to be writing to the file. Otherwise, it would go ahead and overwrite it with an empty file. So you can see that it went ahead and it just read the entire file. So that's actually how we read a file in Python. Now, if I didn't want to actually read this thing into entire lines, what I could do is I could say for f and file dot read. Um, I think it's read line. Yeah, it's a read line, all lowercase, open and close uh, parenthesis. We could say uh, print 
F. Uh, and really, I'll say this is a line plus F. And uh, just in case we didn't get into string concatenation, we're taking two strings and adding them together into one print statement here. So if I went ahead and I ran this program, uh, it's actually looping through each letter. That is not good. And it's because of a typo. If I actually show this again, what it's doing is actually reading uh, the first line. This is some friggin' text, and it's doing one letter at a time, which uh, which it can do. So you actually want to say read lines. My bad. Uh, that was my fault. All right. So if we did that, this is actually going to go and loop through every uh, loop through every line in the file, and it's going to print out you know what we told it to print along with what is actually there. So that's how you process a large file because typically if you have a file with like you know eighty thousand lines or if it's like you know eight meg or even a gigabyte you know file or something like that, you can't read that bitch in the memory because you'll end up running out of memory or at least like just slamming the performance of your um, application by saying, "Hey, just read this thing one line at a time for processing." If you if you're able to do whatever sort of processing and processing you need to do, you know, line by line, it's always better because it's not gulping that entire thing into uh, a memory uh, chunk. So, all right, guys, uh, that is that is how you actually uh, open a file in Python and read a file in Python. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not end it there. Let's go ahead and um, real quick show you how to add uh, to this file. What we want to do, if we want to add to what is there, we're going to actually pass in A for append. And that means don't write over what we have here. And we can say file dot write. This is, is adding more to the blah, blah, blah. Close that off. We're going to go ahead and close the file so that way it will definitely write. And let's go ahead and run this. So it runs it. And if we go over to the Python tutorial, look at MoFo, we're going to have this new text down at the bottom. Now, here's where, where shit bites you because you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm writing this. And, and, and like, okay, I just spent like an hour grabbing all kinds of data, putting it into this file. Now I'm going to add going to add one last line and pretend you spent like a month trying to grab all this data or write some big uh, big project or report or something like that and you're like oh, I just need to add one line to it and you go ahead and uh, forget to do the append and instead do a W watch what happens here so this runs you just wiped out everything you had before and now you have this new line and you can't get that bitch back like it is gone like um, there's no going to your recycle bin and undoing that Python wiped it out it's never coming back so be very careful um, that you know what it is that you're trying to do because it's uh, it's unforgiving if you do the wrong thing alright guys thanks for watching please subscribe bye